We're not intimidated by thugs. You know, you remind me of my father. I hated my father. I had my first library card when I was four years old. Buddies at school and all were reading Superman. I liked Batman. I'd have Treasure Island on one bedside table and Batman on the other. I bet $50,000 for Poison Ivy. Before this great enterprise envisioned by myself, there was nothing here but wilderness. And to know what he stands for, that kind of power, it's, it's funny, I was talking with some people from DC Comics, this was years and years ago. Something was said, something about Batman. I said, no, no, that's wrong, because about the third page in the June issue of 1947, he did such and such, and they're like, yeah, okay, so I'm right. They went back, they checked the archives, they said, by golly, he's right. I had a copy of that book on every single desk. And a lot of senators read it, but they, they brought them home to their family and said, yeah, you ought to ban those darn things. And it passed 100 to nothing. Then they asked him to be in a, uh, do a bit part in a Batman movie. He said, you know, my dad likes Batman. And they said, really? It's hard to see anybody did a better job than Heath Ledger did. He scared the heck out of me when he came at me with a knife. <laughs> I didn't have to, I didn't have to act. <laughs> well, I explained to everybody that getting blown up was okay because my wife's a registered nurse. She put me back together and I never even missed a vote. The Senator Leahy, uh, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge um, my co-star in Batman, Role is marginally smaller than mine, but I understand you're quite good.